level of water. It should be kept at optimum. When you see that the level dips to empty, it's time to water your plant. And this is usually just a few weeks later. Hydroponically grown house plants are a lot easier to maintain and a lot cleaner. Hydroponics is the future of gardening. It's time to learn about it and get your feet wet. Our winner of the stunning zesty pizza oven was Lisa, and she couldn't believe her luck when she was picked out of the barrel. Look, you, you've not only got one of the best pizza ovens you could ever get your hands on, but you've got a little bit of professional help coming in as well. You know, I know you're Italian, but look, I know this good Greek guy, right? He is absolutely brilliant. He's, he's also the world pizza champion, yeah. and we've got him here in your backyard. No, great, thank you. Theo? Lisa, come over here. I may be Greek, but I cook uh, pizza. <laughs> I am married to an Italian. Ready? Yep. That's right. fresh garlic, so you can either chop it up or make a bit of a paste. I want you to spread it around. Okay. The secret to all pizzas, less is more. You don't want a lot of ingredients, okay? Yep. Now, with your cheese, especially with a wood fire oven, mainly put it on the outside, not in the middle. The cheese always melts in, all right? Yep. So on the outside, very little in the middle. Now, this is pork belly that I had roasted off yep. with some white wine onions. I want you to place it around the pizza. Think of it as a cake. When you're going to cut up your pizza, you want everybody to get a piece. So you got that there? Mine's looking better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> These are the white wine onions that were under the pork belly when we were roasting. So we're just going to put a yep. bit of that on. And that's it. That's all there is. You can see, Lisa, how mine just sort of slid in. We put a little bit of semolina. Just shake it like that. See how it's moving? Yep. Can you just place it there in front of me? There we go. That acts like ball bearings, it just slides off. If you use flour, it actually gets absorbed into the base and that's when sometimes they get stuck and yep. fold over each other. Don't forget, it's a good oven, it's keeping a really good heat. You just can't walk away from it, you're gonna burn something. Yeah, what temperature does it have to be? Well, I, this is around 250 to 300. I try and have a thermometer in there. You can see there's one there. That gives you a guide. Once you get to know the oven, you don't need it, but it's a really easy way to understand your oven when you start using it first. Yep. These should take us about three to four minutes and we'll be ready. Beautiful. Is your mouth watering? I know mine is. How would you like to recreate Theo's fantastic pizzas at home in your backyard? And I can tell you, they're not pizzas, they are gourmet delights. Well, you can do it and all you have to do is get your hands on his latest book. Theo and Co, take two. Would you like to win a copy of Theo's latest book? Well, simply head to UWA's Facebook page and post a picture of your pizza party and you could win. Yeah, they actually cooked quite quick. Doesn't take long, three to four minutes. When you've got a great oven, that's what you're after. I'm going to slide it on the tray and now we're going to finish it off. You should always finish your pizzas off. This is a Dijon mustard whip, yep. right? I'm going to just lay it on. Yum. That way, by doing the stripe, as you're eating it, each bite has got a beautiful flavour. Mm -hmm. Some fresh parsley. Now I want you to do that. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Slide. There you go. Cut. I want you to slide it onto that tray. Yep. Bring that in front of you. It's got to look good. If you've done all the effort, you've cooked it, it looks good. People always eat with their eyes first. Just a little bit of parsley. Let's have a smell. Smell that. Beautiful, nice and fresh. Now you're going to have to have a bite. Oh, OK. <laughs> you got that? Who cut this one? Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Who made that? That's good. Yum. <laughs> Mate, these pizzas are sensational. Isn't this what it's all about? The Zesty Wood Fire Oven brings people around, and that's what it is really all about. That and your fantastic pizzas, of course, Theo. Oh, they taste all right. <laughs> they taste pretty damn good. <laughs> hey, mate, you will come back next series. I'd love to, Trevor. Just cooking? Yep. OK, well, that'll be something to look forward to. Now, we will be back in the new year. In the meantime, you can stay in touch with us by checking us out on Facebook. And, of course, check out our website if you want to download any of the fact sheets. You can also see our YouTube channel. We've got so many ways that you can stay in touch, including the brand-new edition of the Garden Guru magazine. Please check it out in your local newsagent or, of course, at your local Bunnings store. Well, that is it for this series. Thanks so much for your support. Have a wonderful Christmas and a terrific New Year, and we'll see you real soon. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Mm.